a whistleblower from Microsoft claims problems with the company's AI image generation tools. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. As AI gets more advanced, the range of divergent opinions about AI and its role in business, commerce, and society gets wider and wider. And that happens not just in society, but also in the context of specific companies. A couple times over the last few years, we've seen people leave a big AI lab that they were working with because they started to disagree with that company's approach to how they were handling AI-related issues. The latest story like that is an engineer who has left Microsoft and who claims that its AI image generator creates harmful imagery too easily. Shane Jones was an AI engineer at Microsoft who had worked there for about six years. And at the end of last year, in November and December, he was part of a red teaming effort on Copilot Designer. Copilot Designer is an AI image generator. Red teaming is a process by which people try to actively root out vulnerabilities and ways to get around guardrails to better understand how an AI is going to behave in the wild. Jones claimed that the images that came up were not something that should be available to the public. CNBC writes, The AI service depicted demons and monsters alongside terminology related to abortion rights, teenagers with assault rifles, sexualized images of women in violent tableaus, and underage drinking and drug use. All of those scenes generated in the past three weeks have been recreated by CNBC this week using the Copilot tool, which was originally called Bing Image Creator. Said Jones, It was an eye-opening moment. It's when I first realized, wow, this is really not a safe model. Writes CNBC, Jones was so alarmed by his experience that he started internally reporting his findings in December, while the company acknowledged his concerns it was unwilling to take the product off the market. Jones said Microsoft referred him to OpenAI, and when he didn't hear back from the company, he posted an open letter on LinkedIn, asking the startup's board to take down Dolly 3 for an investigation. Microsoft's legal department then said to remove that post immediately, but then in January, he wrote a letter to U.S. senators on the matter, and later also met with Senate staffers from the Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation. Then this week, he went even farther, sending a letter to FTC Commission Chair Lena Khan and another to Microsoft's Board of Directors, also sharing those letters with CNBC. Basically, Jones said that he wanted first for Copilot Designer to be removed until they could put in better safeguards, but then barring that, he wanted to add disclosures to the product and change the rating on Google's Android app to make it just for mature audiences. Microsoft, for their part, said, We are committed to addressing any and all concerns employees have in accordance with our company policies and appreciate employee efforts in studying and testing our latest technology to further enhance its safety. When it comes to safety bypasses or concerns that could have potential impact on our services or partners, we have established robust internal reporting channels to properly investigate and remediate any issues, which we encourage employees to utilize so we can appropriately validate and test their concerns. Which is, of course, a very brush-off sort of answer, and the question will be whether the story actually picks up any more traction from here. Meanwhile, on the other side, the company has announced the, quote, new era of work event designed for the company's business customers and will show off new Surface Pro 10 and Surface Laptop 6 devices. Of course, there will be a big focus on the AI improvements that are coming to Windows 11. Over in another tech giant's world, Tom Allison, the head of Facebook within Meta, said that the company is investing heavily in the development of an AI system designed to power Facebook's entire video system. Allison said that the technology roadmap that goes into 2026 involves the development of an AI recommendation model that powers short videos like Instagram Reels, as well as longer videos. Allison held this discussion at a Morgan Stanley tech conference in San Francisco and noted that in the past, the various different video products within Facebook and Meta had all been powered by different systems. Now, part of why AI has been so captivating to the markets is that it's not just theoretical and is actually producing results now. For example, Allison discussed that implementing a new type of AI-powered model architecture helped Facebook increase an 8-10% to gain in Reels watch time, which of course translates to more ad dollars. Said Allison, Instead of just powering Reels, we're working on a project to power our entire video ecosystem with this single model, and then we can add our feed recommendation product to also be served by this model. If we get this right, not only will the recommendations be kind of more engaging and more relevant, but we think the responsiveness of them can improve as well. We wanted flying cars we got a better video recommendation engine. Salesforce, another tech giant, continues its relentless push into AI, announcing a new AI tool for doctors. The tool is called Einstein Copilot Health Actions and is designed to try to help automate a slate of manual administrative tasks that can be a real drag on productivity and increase burnout. They say that the tool will allow doctors to book appointments, summarize patient information, and send referrals all by prompting AI in natural language. They say that the tool will also allow organizations to digitize health assessments without having to manually type or code them. Now, in VC land, vocal AI proponent Andreessen Horowitz is aiming to raise $6.9 billion for a new set of funds, including two that will be focused on artificial intelligence. A16Z is targeting a $6.9 billion for a master feeder fund that's expected to close in early April. 
Half of that is supposed to go to the firm's growth fund, which would represent a size decline from its $5 billion predecessor, but then spending 15% on an AI infrastructure fund and 15% on an AI apps fund. In other words, friends, the AI funding rush is not likely to slow down anytime soon. However, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. Next up, the main AI Breakdown. <laughs> 